Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing in a baseball shirt and baseball bat swinging. <laughs> I'm a sports nut. <laughs> and I was thinking about being in an art slump and, and how to get out of it. And then I started thinking about baseball. Ba baseball is the one sport that you hear about a slump all the time. Every sport, everything has periods of not success. Uh, but a, but a batting a hitting slump is just one of those things that you hear a lot about. So I went to YouTube <laughs> and I I put in the words baseball or hitting slump no getting out of a hitting slump something like that and a number of videos came up and I watched some and I took some notes and here's my thoughts on how to get out of an art slump from baseball players. <laughs> Um, Justin at Ultimate Baseball said to be consistent in preparation. He explained that what that looks like in baseball is getting to the field the same time. You know, if you if the game starts at four, you're going to be there at two. Uh, getting there ahead at the same time ahead of time every time. Eating the most beneficial meal um, before that game. When you get into the uh, batting circle um, that that you're gonna go through the same routine um, so so what does that look like for art <laughs> well paint when you're at your best I'm best in the morning and and I know there's a lot of painters who paint at night and good on you <laughs> but I'm, I'm no good at night <laughs> I, I'm a late night I stay up late and I get up early, but I'm fresher in the morning to paint. So I usually paint before noon, uh, but that's me, okay? So, but I, I paint when I'm at my best. Uh, get your own routine and stick to it. Um, put on whatever the, put on your favorite music. Uh, drink whatever it is you drink. If it's water, drink water. Uh, if it's coffee, drink coffee. You know, whatever it is you drink uh, or eat, um, have that with you there. Uh, paint your favorite subject. Do a quick study. Um, so get a routine that when you go there and you put that apron on or smock or shirt or whatever, you have a routine and your body now understands, oh, it's time to paint. <laughs> we got the music going. <laughs> she's got her cup of uh, herbal tea over there <laughs> and she's putting that apron on. So it must be time to paint. <laughs> so get your own routine and stick to that. Uh, let that be a... Um, signal to your brain, to your body. It, it, we're going to get creative now. Um, and if it's if you're just having a bad day, shake that off. It's just a bad day. You know, in baseball, it's up and down and up and down. And you know, it's that way in art too. Some days you're just much more creative than others. Some days that painting just flows off your brush and you gotta love those days I know I do um, slumps are are more mental and less mechanical and so by that in the art world it means um, there's nothing wrong with how I paint I'm just not good at it today I'm not just not feeling it today uh, and so don't let that own you alrighty uh, if you think you're in a slump you just put yourself there. It's a mental thing. It's what happens in baseball. They say it's what happens between the ears, and and so yeah, you 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 can put yourself in a slump by th by being so worried about being in a slump. Oh my gosh! I, yesterday was horrible, so I, I don't think I can paint it. I just don't think I can do it. Well, let yesterday go. It's over with. Let's let's go forward again today. Do what works. When you're having a tough time painting, do what works. Paint what you're good at. Uh, I know I can paint and I know it's gonna come back, but until it comes back with a vengeance, <laughs> I'm gonna paint what I'm good at. I'm gonna paint rocks, I'm gonna paint trees, I'm gonna paint daisies, I'm gonna paint sunflowers. I'm gonna paint what I know I'm good at and I'm gonna you know, work on that. Sean Casey, who used to be a, uh, a great hitter for the Cincinnati Reds, uh, <laughs> he was one of the most energetic people, uh, and he was all over that uh, when I was watching a, a YouTube video about him. Uh, <laughs> he was all over the place, and, and the 
the moderator was, you know, trying to stay in one place and Casey was everywhere. So <laughs> it was funny. He kept talking about process over results. And so I'm thinking, okay, what does that look like in the art world? Uh, what does that look like as a painter process over results? <clears throat> well, I might not be able to make something happen today, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to keep coming in here and I'm going to keep putting paint on that canvas until something sticks, <laughs> until something works for me. But I'm going to keep going at my process. Every day I'm coming in here with my uh, Yeti full of water and I'm going to put on my 60s music and I'm going to look at some artwork that inspires me or some flowers that inspire me, some scenes that inspire me, and I'm going to try again. Uh, and so that's part of the process. Breathe deeply. I'm not a good sleeper, but I have learned in the recent past to when I'm ready to go to sleep, I need to breathe deeply and let my heart rate slow down, let my breathing slow down and relax. A lot of times we get so tense. We're, we're in yesterday's head. We're thinking about, oh, I couldn't paint yesterday, so I hope I can do it today. Well, we just put ourselves behind the eight ball right then. Um, so <laughs> another thing that, uh, uh, some of the things he says, um, let it come to you. Okay, you can, hear, you can hear a baseball player say it. Just let it come to you. Don't chase it. You can hear a baseball say, player saying that, can't you? Let the ball come to you. Don't chase it in the dirt. Okay, well, what does that look like as an artist? Let the art come to you. Relax. Take a deep breath. Remember, you know how to paint. You can do it. It's a skill. It's not, you know, the universe saying, oh, your talent's over. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> you only had so much and you've used it all up. No, that's not what's happening here. So at any rate, relax, let it come to you, and don't chase something that you shouldn't be chasing. Control what you can control. What does that mean? I'm here in the studio again, painting again, studying again, practicing again. Those are the things I can control. So control what you can control. Make good decisions. Decide what you want to paint. I'm going to decide I'm going to paint this and I'm going to start with a plan. I'm going to start with some inspiration. I might do some thumbnails. I might do some sketches. I might do some color sketches of what it is I really want to do. I'm getting up there. I'm getting ready for it. Simplify. In baseball, it's called see the ball, hit the ball. <laughs> Casey had a coach who told him to only watch videos of him hitting the ball out of the park. So when he left the ballpark and they were on the plane on the way home, he had a loop, he had created a loop of his best hits and he only watched him hitting the ball time after time after time after time, just slamming it, just killing it, crushing it. Okay, so in art, don't look at what you didn't like. Look at your best work. Remember that day when the paint just flowed off the brush and boom, before you knew it, you had this beautiful painting. Think about those days. Look at those paintings. Think about that. Don't think about all the other stuff that didn't work out. Prime your mind for success and, and quit thinking about, well, today's another day I can't paint. Can't do it. Wiped it all off. You can do it. It just might not be today. <laughs> Casey also said, tension is poison. Well, relax again. <laughs> Don't overthink it. We're not talking brain surgery here. We're talking art. And art is what you create. And so if you're all tense and, and worried about, oh my God, oh, I think this is, should, should it go here? No, I, I think I, sh I should do, I, maybe I should. If you're all tense like that, there is no way on this planet that you will be able to create anything you'll be happy with. You have to learn to relax, let that tension go, let that paint 
flow off the brush. If you're worried about, well, I'm afraid I'm going to do some crappy work today. <laughs> you're going to do crappy work today. <laughs> if that's what you're thinking, if that's what you're afraid of, and that's the first thing in your mind when you go in the studio, that's exactly what's going to happen. Today, that paint is just going to flow right off my brush. I'm going to have no problems. I'm going to paint the best sunflower I've ever painted. I'm going to paint the best blue mason jar I've ever painted. I'm going to paint the best rocks and trees, sunsets I've ever done. And when you go in there with that mindset, now, now we're talking. Now, now we're going to see some great art be created. And my final thought is this. Be who you are. Paint what you paint. Don't try to be a Van Gogh if you're a Rembrandt. <laughs> it, it just is not going to work. Be who you are and rejoice in that. Think about that four-year-old, that two-year-old who is rejoicing in the art that he has created even though nobody else can figure out what's on that paper. <laughs> he is thrilled. She is ecstatic. And don't try to take that away from him and don't take it away from yourself. Be who you are and paint what you paint and love it. And thank you so much for being here. I love having you pop in here. If this has been helpful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with somebody you think uh, might enjoy it. You know, a, a, a new beginning painter who, who might think, I, I can't do it. Share this with them because they can do it. Uh, this is a skill. This is not... This is not a, we're not talking talent, we're talking skill. And you learn skills, you practice skills, you improve skills. And then... Then and only then will your talent come out. But until then, just keep practicing. Keep getting, improving your skills. My, paint, my website is www.paintingwithacrylics101.com created specifically and only for beginning painters. If you've been painting for a while and your work looks flat, it's created for you. <laughs> if you've never picked up a brush, uh, I can help you with that. So it's created for you. There's a blog on there. Free blog's got, I don't know, 35, 38 posts or so. And every single one is dedicated to, to you, to a beginning painter, to somebody who wants to improve their art, who is early in their art stage. So go on there and look around, see the things that you want to look at, and read those blog posts, watch those videos, and let's paint together real soon. Play ball! <laughs>